Hi there, we are here at the Stitching Post. I am Trish and today I have the pleasure and honor of introducing you all to Annette Caldwell, who is this year's 2023 featured machine quilter for the Sisters Outdoor Quilt Show. And so today we're gonna to show you some of the quilts that she has so beautifully quilted and some of them she's made herself. And we're gonna ask her some questions and get to know her a little bit more and a little bit more about her journey with quilting. And so I guess the first question that I'd like to ask you, Annette, is how long have you been quilting? I've been quilting for 26 years. That's a long time. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. And what brought you to quilting on a long arm versus just machine quilting? I started quilting for customers on my domestic machine and I wore out my feed dogs. Okay. So at that point, I decided it was time to upgrade to a long arm. Okay. And um, you actually have, I'm kind of jumping ahead in my questions, but it brings me to this. You have a great story about how you got your first long arm machine. <laughs> It was um, here during Quilt Show at the classes at Quilters Affair, and Angela Walters was here teaching, and I bought the machine, and she even autographed it for me. Okay. So it's not just a white machine. And you have something against white machines. I do. <laughs> Actually, white in general. I don't. I don't do white walls. I my machine is technically white and I bought a product that's called tattoos and I put designs all over her so there's some geckos walking on her and some swirls and flowers and she's just pretty yeah she's just pretty she's very creative very similar to the creativity exactly. that you have when exactly. when you are quilting and so that also brings me to another question of what is it that you would like someone to know who is considering hiring someone to do their quilting? What should they know beforehand? You need to find out what they charge for everything. And um, also just make sure the quilt backing is at least four inches bigger all the way around for them to load correctly on their machine. Okay, awesome. And then you have some customers who um, ask for a like free motion versus, we'll tell us a little bit more about kind of. Well, I am a free motion quilter. Yes. I do use rulers. Um, I do have some pantograms. I don't use them very often, um, but most of my quilting is free motion. And there's a human aspect with free motion quilting. So, my lines aren't exactly all straight and you know it's it's okay because that's the human factor and that's part of the beauty of free motion quilting mm -hmm. yeah is the creativity piece that goes into it exactly. and, and you talk also about how quilts kind of speak to you right every quilt talks to every quilter and you draw from what the quilt says it wants you may have one idea in your mind that you want to use a design or do a design and then the quilt's gonna go yeah no because that happens all the time oh okay happens all the time yeah awesome or they'll say you know i want it to look a certain way and you do what the customer says yeah yeah good so this quilt that we're getting to right here is a very special quilt to you. This is something that you've made out of flannel that you have quilted. Will you tell us a little bit more about this one? This quilt I made for my mother um, when she was going through some, um, one of her cancer treatments that she did for her um, leukemia. And every color in this quilt represents a different cancer that she has had. I quilted a phoenix in glow-in-the-dark thread. So it, she's a phoenix and she has risen a lot. And besides the purple and the one that says love, all the rest of the fabrics are Val's. Val gave me the fabric oh. to use. 
What a special quilt. So. Okay, so this, Annette, is a quilt that you created. Yes. That, yep, that yes. you made and that you also um, quilted. How many quilts do you think you have quilted so far? You no, know, that's a tough number. I I average about a hundred a year wow. quilting, and I can make for personal use. I usually average about three. Three. Yeah. <laughs> because that's all I have time for. Right. Right. But it's okay. Yes. It's okay. Um. How many hours, on average, do you think it takes you to quilt to quilt? It all depends on the size. Um, I, I anywhere from one to fifteen. It all depends on the size and what the customer wants on their quilt. And you're currently making a quilt for your son. Yeah, it's a little slow because of everybody else needing quilts. So yes, I am making a um, double wedding ring with points for him. He got married last October, <laughs> and I'm suspecting it's going to take me about 70 hours to quilt that quilt. It's just a lot of detail, and I think yeah. sometimes when we're putting a lot of love and creativity into something that's our own, you just kind of have to sit and look at it a little bit, let the quilt speak to you, and then Oh, just no, I already have a design how oh. I'm going to quilt it. I just got to get it made. Okay. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, it's all, it's all drawn out on paper, so I know how I'm gonna quilt it. It's just getting the quilt finished okay. and getting it quilted. <laughs> All right, well, as we look at some of these other ones, what are some tips that you have for somebody wanting to try their luck with long arming and? Well, quilting in general, it just takes practice. And the best way to do it is if you're a doodler, just start drawing, it takes about 30 minutes of drawing something consistently to quilt okay. that design onto a quilt. So, yeah. yeah. And you've described to me in the past that doodling for long arming is different than doodling with a pencil. Yeah, you need to think like the needle. So you hold your pencil, your, your pencil straight up and down. Okay. That way you're actually looking like you're using the needle. Okay, those are some great tips for everyone out there. So this quilt, I talked to Jenny and Helen from So Kind of Wonderful are coming back again this year. We're honored to have them back again this yes. year at Quilt Show and to teach with us during Quilter's Affair. And I was telling Helen that I had quilted this quilt and that I was featuring quilter and I asked her and her sister to stop by my display so they could see what I did. So and this year where will your display be located during quilt show day? You know, I'm not exactly sure. I was told by Dawn, the executive director, that I'm gonna be in front of their building. So it's okay. over off of hood. Okay. What does it mean to you to be featured this year as the featured machine quilter for Quilt Show? I, I'm greatly honored that the board chose me after all these years of working at the Stitching Post and being a quilter. So it's just an honor. I, you know, it's an honor. It's a great honor. Yeah, I'm really excited for you. I think this is just a great, great honor. And so as we come down here to this quilt, tell us a little bit about this one. When Jean and Val and Jackie had um, Island Boutique here, they um, wanted to make Blue Pool. It's a pool of water over off the Metolia someplace. It's a beautiful hike. I would highly recommend it. <laughs> it's four anyone. hours. That's all I know. <laughs> Quite the hike. So this is called Blue Pool. The pattern is paprika. Um, I needed some money and Jean purchased this quilt from me. So this is, she's allowing me, letting me borrow it back for my display. But it was great fun making because 
I did lines so it looked like movement of water is how I how I was coming up with the ideas to quilt it. And there's pebbles in it and so yeah, it just looks like water movement to me. Yes, it's a beautiful, beautiful quilt. And so I'm sure that some of you watching are wondering, how can I get Annette Caldwell to quilt my quilt? And so Annette, how can people find you? They can call the store here. I'm here five days a week, 541-549-6061, um, or they can email me here at the store, Annette at stitchinpost.com. Wonderful. Okay, so this is one of the quilts that you have created that this is probably my favorite that you've done. Thank you. Because not only does it look like an artistic masterpiece to me, but I can see in it that you've used so many different techniques. And I would just love for you to explain some of the things that you have done with this quilt. So um, this darky area, I used a product called Decolorant and um, the swirls up here, I used a um, paint stick for quilting and then I um, got a couching foot for my long arm so all of the yarns are couched in <coughs> and then um, the um, Cypress is actually layers of different pieces because I, you know, was trying to capture the cypress in the painting. So it was, it was a lot of fun. I really, really liked it. Um, this is from his blue period, if anybody doesn't know that. And um, they suspect that he had Meniere's disease and I have bilateral veneers and that's why he cut his ear off because he thought it was external, not internal. They'll never know for sure, but that's what they suspect is that he had veneers and that's why he couldn't get healthy because the diet wasn't that great back then. But So I made this to help me get over going bilateral with my veneers. And then the next quilt is one of my customers, 97 year old mother maid. That is so sweet. And she texted me from Hawaii how the mom wanted, thought she wanted it quilted and I kind of changed it a little bit, but yeah, that's, that one's a 90, 97 year old lady. I so you, you you don't have to stop quilting just because you, you know, get up there in age. Absolutely. Well, Annette, it has been such a pleasure getting to know you and listening to you share your story and showing us all of these beautiful quilts. And we just want to thank you so much for allowing us this time together. And um, yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. It is a great pleasure.